We are here in St. Pierre Jolie, Manitoba, and we can hardly wait to explore this beautiful little village. We chose this for our first winter getaway because we want to take in all of the wonderful food, amazing cultural experiences, great things to do outside in this lovely winter weather, and also there is an amazing community spirit here. <laughs> adventure here we are staying at the house that love built B&B and I think the best way to describe this place is like a really welcoming relatives house everything here is super comfy and cozy and just it's just lovely and warm here it really makes you want to sort of sink into the season it's all decked out for the holidays right now and you just really want to relax and enjoy yourself and just be in the moment here and it is beautiful Of course, breakfast is an important part of any bed and breakfast, and our host Fawn went above and beyond. A definite improvement on our usual piece of toast on a Saturday morning. Everything is local, or at least a lot of this has been really local, homemade, just totally delicious and such a special treat. We've had like the widest variety of breakfast foods ever. Can't really beat it. We headed over to the museum, a totally cool experience that goes beyond the 120 year old main building. There are multiple stops and things to see on the museum grounds making it a must do for visitors. To start our tour, Roly, the village's historian, took us to Maison Goulet, which dates from the late 1800s. We got to step inside and take a look around the house which was awesome. And believe it or not, you can actually camp there overnight to get a taste of life on the Crow Wing Trail. We then experienced the tastiest part of the tour when Roly took us to the sugar shack where they make maple syrup. This is all my equipment that I use. I've got 650 buckets. So we drill the hole. Yeah. And then after that, we, we hammer the, uh, the spiles into the tree. Then you wait for the magic to happen. We even got to sample some yummy local syrup and compare it to one from Quebec. Yeah. Mm. Shot it. You're going to see that there's a definitely a different taste to it. Oh yeah, that is different. Definitely my preference is that um, it's, it has to be the local one because of the uniqueness. That's it. Finally, we made our way into the renovated old convent building where we learned about the town's original cathedral and saw some restored rooms from the former school. It was time to get back outside, so we headed to Saison's in Otterburn for some fun outdoor experiences and Métis hospitality. Yeah, the surf play for that's up there, but we could play after. Okay. Come on in, you must be cold. Season was our guide, and one of the best parts of the experience was getting to know our host. Got the bubble green on the coals there. So that is all, um, Harvest vegetables, so. Our first activity was making bannock on the fire, which was so much fun and so rewarding. Cooking on fire here is like, it's, yeah, there's nothing like it. While we were busy cooking, we also enjoyed listening to Season share a lot of her knowledge about local history and culture. Okay, you have to plop it right on top of the coals there. Dandelion jam made locally. Bellies full, it was time to dive into some wintry recreational fun. First up, archery. Can you do that 
again. <laughs> yeah, right through the hoop. If you're enjoying this video, remember to give us a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. It really helps our little channel grow. Outdoor fun, we beelined for Lucky Luke's in the St. Pierre Hotel and dove into one of their signature burgers. The burger was big and beautiful and a great way to warm up. Another option, one that we were also fortunate to experience, is to head back to Love Built for a charcuterie board. saw with breakfast, Fawn goes all out with her food, offering a wonderful mix of local meats and cheeses with her board. There was such a great community vibe in St. Pierre and we were lucky enough to meet a few locals at a community barbecue that happened to be going on while we were there. We were warmly invited to help ourselves to hot dogs, hot chocolate and marshmallows by the fire. Gem Bistro also has a small market with house-made sauces, soups, jams, and more. Where are we off to? We are heading to the thrift shop now. See if we can find some treasures. Apparently it's quite the awesome thrift store.
also couldn't miss a visit to the famous St. Pierre Bakery. Great things about these donuts. Apparently, they're supposed to be quite delightful. That does not surprise me at all. It's a little cold because we're outside and it's winter, but otherwise, it's delicious. Mm. Oh, that's great. I'm like eating a donut in the winter. Manitoba. Our last experience was back at Love Built, where we learned how to make soap. Fawn is a soaper extraordinaire and taught us all about how to make fragrant boutique soap from scratch. It's basically like an amazing science experiment with a beautiful outcome. We were lucky enough to make two different kinds of soap during our experience. Each batch is unique and requires mixing and measuring a bunch of different ingredients, blending them together until everything is just right. Soap truly is a mix of science and art, and it was lovely. Also, putting the finishing touches on and cutting the bars is very zen-like. Of course, the final treat was getting to bring some home. We loved it.